Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can um, handle multiple API calls synchronously. All right, and I want to show you like the old legacy way of doing it and how you can actually use the combined zip operator to achieve that. All right, so there are certain, uh, you know, if you're working on really legacy code, there might be times where you have to make uh, two or more API calls, you know, and use the payload to actually uh, create some kind of model to render on the UI. So I'm going to show you a very simple example over here. So I have a view control over here. And uh, our topic is actually this one, making uh, multiple API calls asynchronously with combined zip operator. But firstly, I want to show you uh, what are the uh, legacy options that we were used to doing, all right? So I want to first uh, introduce you to the models that we have. So we have the user model, uh, which has just ID and username, and we have post, which is just ID and title. So keeping it really uh, simple. And over here, we have a API service class. Uh, in this function, we have a fetch post and uh, we use the old school completion uh, uh, handler. And then uh, what it does is that uh, we just uh, place, uh, put in the, um, the endpoint and then we are just uh, using URL session to make a, a data task and then we'll pass it using uh, JSON decoder into the post array. And same goes for users, all right? So these two are individual um, functions that handle uh, the different endpoints, okay? So over here inside my view the load, I have two functions here that I'm calling. So one is called fetch API se uh, sequentially, all right? So sequentially means uh, I'm going to make the first API call and upon success, then I make the second API call and finally i'll use both of those uh, payloads uh, maybe to uh, generate some kind of ui or to update certain uh, certain operations uh, on the view controller all right so as you can see over here sequentially means uh, sequentially means one after the other all right so over here we fetch the users first and upon success so you notice i i, I didn't really um, bother too much about the failure case because i know this will always be successful upon the success case then we uh, fetch the post okay so we uh, uh, make one api call first when it's successful then we call the second api and when it's successful as well then i'm going to print out done sequentially and i'm just going to print out the users.count since we know that users is an array and post is an array as well and as you can see over here we have the um, the printout on the console done asynchronously or over here done sequentially 10 100 all right so um, over here we have the second function this is a uh, fetch api asynchronously so uh, asynchronous Asynchronously means that we are not waiting for one API call to uh, to to end before we make the other API call. All right. So what we do is that we use a dispatch group and we uh, fire both APIs at the same time. All right. So you see over here, fire the fetch users uh, as well as the fetch post. And then what we do is that we are using the dispatch group to monitor when uh, the callback happens and uh, when it finally happens, we uh, call the notify uh, method and then we just uh, print out done asynchronous. Uh, users.count and post.count. So as you can see, uh, um, fetching it asynchronously will always be faster because uh, one, one API call is not dependent on another API call, all right? So uh, let me just uh, quickly run the uh, app one more time and you will see that asynchronously is always faster than sequentially, all right? So let me just hit this one more time. All right, so uh, asynchronously is always faster than sequentially. So today I wanna share with you a technique. Um, I, I won't really say it's a technique, but it's a, a way of uh, making API calls asynchronously using the combined zip operator. And I wanna talk about this because I think that um, it is so much cleaner to work with and it's so much more readable okay so i'm going to show you how uh, you can do that if uh, you know sometimes you you may have a function uh, that has to make multiple api calls so in this example you can see that you know i'm only making two api calls but then there may be certain situations where you have to make maybe three four or you know five api calls i mean that, that is really bad design but these things do happen and you and if you are to do it as, uh, sequentially or even asynchronously you notice that you know your code is going to become very bloated and it's going to be very uh, hard to read you know readability is going to be very low and yeah they're yeah, just going to frustrate future developers so i'm going to show you a, a really clean way to do this all right so um what i want to do is i want to append a, a new function inside uh, the api service and i have that already with me so i'm just going to copy and paste that so let me just copy a uh, fetch users first 
So uh, let me just paste this inside over here. All right, so I'm going to make this a uh, private function. Okay, I, I, I don't really need a private, but I'm going to show you why I do that anyway. All right, so over here, any publisher is going to complain because we have yet to import uh, the combined framework. Okay, so now I do that. I believe you should not complain anymore. So this is uh, pretty much the same thing as this one over here, uh, just that uh, we are using the data task publisher, which is uh, the, the combined way of doing things. You realize the endpoint is the same thing as well. We are decoding it, and then we are returning this as an any publisher, all right? So now I'm going to copy the other function over here. So this is uh, fetch post. So again, very similar. The pattern uh, is, is, is the same. Only difference is that the endpoint is different, and then we are returning a different object which is post okay so what i can do over here is that rather than doing it um this way all right or this way okay ideally we should uh we will want to do it asynchronously okay so i'm going to show you how you can do the uh, you can do that uh using the zip operator in combine okay so i'm going to create a function over here called fetch okay maybe let's just call this a fetch uh, okay i think fetch is fine and then I'm going to return any publisher over here. And then this time, since I want both uh, both data, users and posts, I'm going to create some kind of tuple over here. So it's going to be a user and then uh, maybe post. Okay, and then uh, what do I need over here? I'm going to do an error. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to do um, publishers dot uh, zip. All right. So what zip does is that it's going to. Uh, you can think of it as you know your your zip on your jeans. All right. It requires two parts to be fulfilled in order for you to zip up your pants. So what it means is that it, it requires two of this uh, um this functions to fire uh, for for both functions to return some kind of result before. Uh, uh, before it can conclude, uh, before it can return a value, all right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just pass in fetch um, users here, and then I'm going to pass in here fetch post. Okay, let me just make this uh, easy to read. And then I'm going to do dot erase to any publisher. All right, so just like that, okay? So I'm going to show you uh, how we can call this. Okay, so now I'm going to go up all the way to uh, my view did load, and then I'm going to call this a uh, fetch. Uh, API uh, with combine zip okay so I'm just gonna create the private function over here all right so just like that let me just indent this so it looks nice okay so what I need to do is uh, API service dot fetch okay so this is the one and then I can do dot sync okay so just like that and then uh, we can do our completion over here I'm pretty sure it's not going to um, it's not going to fail so i'm just going to happily just put a failure error over here and then notice over here that the the result type is actually a tuple of user array as well as as well as post array okay so i'm going to do users comma and post over here and then i'm just going to print out okay maybe i'm just going to copy this and then done with uh with zip Okay, and then again, I have users.count and post.count as well. And I have to store this inside some kind of subscription, all right? So I'm just going to create a cancelables over here. So set uh, any cancelable just like that. And then I can just paste this cancelables inside over here. All right, so now I'm going to just uh, comment all this out and then just uh, run this. And you'll notice that it's going to achieve the same result as well. All right. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, filter. Okay, I'm receiving filter error because it's calling the done. Okay, so let me just uh, show it to you why this is happening. It's going to return the, um, I, I believe the the completed um, um state as well. All right. So oh, sorry, the finished state. All right. So over here, uh, done with zip ten ten and and uh yeah, this whole tutorial is just to show you how you can. Um, use the combined zip operator to achieve the same thing uh, as this one over here and it's going to look much cleaner and obviously you know if let's say you are making like um, a bunch of let, let's assume you're doing something like that okay you have like maybe some other kind of function uh, a, a few more functions then all you need to do is just you know just do a comma just put this inside over here do a comma and do it inside over here and basically you just have to append this in this uh, signature over here and it's just going to return everything for you so much is uh, so much easier all right guys uh, i've come to the end of the video and i hope that you find this uh, helpful and uh, uh, leave me a comment uh, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos all right i'll see you in the next one cheers and bye